The first thing to say is thank you so much, all of you, for coming out today. I know it's a beautiful day, but I know there's lots of other things you would want to be doing. But I am so grateful that everybody is here. And that just continues Wendover's reputation for robustly and energetically and enthusiastically opposing this appalling proposal. We, we need to keep up that good work and you'll hear how you can do that in a little while. The second thing I want to say is a huge thank you to our amazing group of volunteers who have put this, this together today. We are very, very lucky in Wendover. We've got a group of passionate volunteers who work incredibly hard day in and day out to help us to oppose the, the, the HS2 proposals. So a huge, huge thank you to them. I also have a very unfortunate announcement to make. This is one that some of you are already aware of. I know you were expecting David Liddington to be here today. But you also have heard about the crisis in the Eurozone. And David's role as Minister for Europe means that he has had at very short notice to go to a meeting in Brussels today. And I have to say to you, when the Prime Minister says, you've got to go to Brussels, you've got to go to Brussels. There really is no choice. If, I'm not going to get involved in this argument, but if he were to resign, let's just put it this way, if he were to resign from his cabinet post, he would be one amongst about 600 backbenchers. His voice would be lost. As it is at the moment, I, I'm sorry, I'm not going to... As things stand at the moment, as things stand at the moment, David has a very strong and powerful connection and voice with senior politicians. He has access to the ministers, to the prime minister, who actually make these decisions. I just want to read to you very briefly the statement that he's he's given me, and then there is a further statement which will be played on the video loop through the day, so you'll be able to hear it from him. But this is his first email to me to explain why he can't be here today. He says, as you may know, I've had to pull out of a long-standing commitment to be at the Wendover HS2 rally on Saturday morning. I saw some of the leading players in the Wendover HS2 campaign in Westminster on the 13th of October, and he did, and he spent some considerable time with them, and explained to them directly why I might not be able to be here. I did not take the decision lightly to drop this commitment and want to explain to you what has happened. An emergency meeting of Euro Europe ministers has been scheduled for Brussels for this, this Saturday, today. The task of this meeting is to agree at ministerial level the draft conclusions of the summit in preparation for the meeting tomorrow and now we hear a further meeting on Wednesday. So it just shows you the seriousness, the seriousness of that situation. He says, I had hoped that the Europe Minister's meeting would be a formality, just rubber stamping agreed conclusions, uh, in which case he would have delegated his role to a senior diplomat and he would have been here today. However, he says, it's almost certain that the, the draft document now will either not include certain protection important to British interests or will have some items that we want but which other countries will seek to change at the Saturday meeting. <laughs> 